Hey, what is going on? This is exactly why I'm trying to get a notebook to write the direction of this video because I kind of just make them up um, and my thoughts get all scrambled so I'm trying to keep myself in line. First and foremost, I'm trying, I'm shooting on, hold on, shooting on Claire's camera instead of my normal camera. Um, I'm, I want to try shooting an S-Log to play around with a little bit of color correction. So if it looks a little different or weird, <laughs> that's why. So that aside, I'm sitting in the corner that I usually sit in actually, but maybe it looks a little, it look a little different maybe. I don't, I don't, ugh. I hope it looks a little different. We, and by we, I mean my girlfriend and my sister that I live with kind of redid our little loft area up a little bit. This was like our creative space, but we weren't really using it to like its full potential. We made a couple arrangements, but we're not quite done. I was just gonna tweak some today and kind of discuss the importance of having a space like this and how I think it's going to help us. Yeah, so let me show you a couple things. And before I forget, my name's Ryan. I'm a graphic design student based out of Indianapolis, and I'm kind of on like a mission to do over 50 videos this year, which is maybe once a week, which is kind of a commitment for me being a full-time student and everything, but I think I'm really passionate about doing this and I wanna see where it takes me. So I'm making videos about the process, um, what I'm thinking, what it's like to be a design student, uh, and just kind of like like the young student creative life. So if you're here, thanks. And if you wanna join me for that, I'd appreciate it. I just had to format this card because I forgot I had three basketball games worth of footage stored onto this little 16. Let's hope that I still have the beginning of this video on there. <laughs> anyway, so with the creative space and the loft that us three share up here, there's kind of like three main zones and those are the ones I wanted to touch on and maybe just make more usable because we didn't we didn't necessarily use all the space very well before so I'm kind of going to go through those areas <laughs> and uh, we'll look at it one by one so first is the the corner that I always film in here let's go into a little bit more anyway here's kind of the space that's the window that I always uh used for natural lighting over here. I think it's super soft the way it comes in on this one at this time of day. And then um, this desk is new. We actually had this drawing table was right here and it stuck out pretty far, but Claire went ahead and moved her desk out here so we can have my desk and her desk kind of next to each other. Um, and that way we can like work together on stuff. And then this is a shelf that we found. This is gonna be like a like a gear shelf, hopefully. We kind of already have it started with like some clamp lights up here and these are just a bunch of like bags and there's a there's like some crazy stuff going on. Um, I need to figure out really how we're gonna use these shelves and where to put our bags just to kind of make this space a little more usable. It has been at least my main like filming area because of the the natural light, but maybe I'm thinking we can have like a secondary one out here with more of like a setup. Let me show you. Okay, so here is, here's our second, our second area with like these giant shelves. And I was hoping out here, maybe I could have more like of a, like a studio setup with these interesting shelves. Like, I don't know, something like this uh, with like a light in could be kind of interesting. I think the shelves bring a lot. I said in a video, like way back when you first move in here, like the shelves were my favorite part of this loft. So like, why wouldn't I? want to use them as some sort of a backdrop or just kind of like an environment uh, to film in or just like work on stuff. Not necessarily like just make videos or whatever, but also like work on my design work and you know, just stuff like that. And they both are going to the same school. So like we're all, you know, this is a shared creative space. So if everybody's here um, influenced by each other and by the things going on, then that'll, that'll maybe make the environment more creative and more compelling for us to work in. So. Uh, maybe just by having like a huge, it, we already kind of like, we got excited a little bit and went with the shelves already and did them up. I think they're, they're looking okay. We still got some work with like this stuff down here to work out. Just some like minor details, but this is the main, like the biggest area in the loft and maybe like in conjunction have like two different recording things for my talking head segments here. But yeah, we'll see that, that one's kind of like an easy fix. 
And then our third space, um, this one's definitely the one that needs the most work. This is the area like where we ended up putting the drawing table and that's my sister's desk. And then we have like this stuff um, is, it's kind of like all the leftover art supplies. It's like you can think paper and pencils and you know, all that art nerd stuff. Um, yeah, that's in that corner. I want to do like a, there's rulers and stuff that we have and I want to like hang those on the wall or something that like that's something we do um, at school like in our big studio spaces. It'll just be encouraging to work um, especially when we're here if we have kind of like an environment set up for it or where we're used to so maybe that little corner with the bins can have um, some equipment some gear uh, for more of like the pen and paintbrush and paper and all that art stuff and then we can bring it out here to work on or on the drawing table to work on and then have some place to put it back to keep things a little bit more organized but also um, easily available for us up here when we work. That's the other side from the shelves to over here and then like this middle, this, <laughs> I'm just spinning a lot at this point. So yeah, those are, those are the three like main areas that I want to hit right now. Um, I think I'm going to start with Maybe just organizing those shelves over there a little bit behind like my main setup just to get things squared away. And then I'm kind of straighten the foreground here up and then see what kind of shots I can get in front of the shelves and then see if I can get some of that mess. But yeah, the, the goal with um, hitting all three of these areas is to just get everything organized up here. I'm thinking if everything's organized and we're looking good, maybe that'll encourage like good work. Just give us a space to like be raw and be creative in. So that's what I'm trying to get at. That's the whole purpose. We're just going to fix things up a bit. But yeah, I think a, a huge part of like the, the creative process and like the reason some people get in blocks or like stuck in a rut sometimes is definitely like your environment that you're in. And I lately have felt partially with like the way just projects in school are going is frustrating, but also like the home work environment isn't encouraging getting out of those ruts so that's the whole goal behind changing like this i still have like this list down of what i'm doing just so i can keep everything straight in my head uh, so we're doing good so far but i think first on the list is this this shelf down here um and get these bags squared away just so the space in between claire and i can be a little bit um, less cluttered and we have somewhere to put our stuff that's not the ground Okay, so here's here's the plan with down here. Um, ideally, I think we'd like to get baskets to put on the bottom shelf to put like extra cords and the GoPro accessories in and things like that. Um, but right now we don't have those baskets, so I'm just kind of trying to organize things in their general zone. Um, but I think I have a lot of our gear that was like miscellaneously placed out that way, brought this way, excluding the bags, which we'll have to find a place for. But I think we look pretty good in this area so far. Look, shelf nicely organized, no bags on the floor, nothing in the window. There's a stack of prints, but we're golden. Bam, bam, shazam. On to zone two. Hopefully this one's a lot easier just to kind of pick some things up off the ground and sit in front of the shelves. Okay. I think, look at this stool. I think this space, whoo! I think this space looks dope now, dude. It looked pretty cool before, but now it's like clean and functional. Like I could just, I could go from like recording this to like, oh, gonna scoop it up and function in the space. Oh, now we're gonna chill on the couch. <laughs> I'm pretty satisfied with our little space. Um, hopefully it works for everybody. I'm still not sure about the position of the drawing table, but I don't want to move Abby's stuff. So I think the uh, shopping cart desk mashup in that corner is gonna have to stay for now, but um, we can address the art pile of stuff. I want to put a nail or two in the wall to hang those things up and kind of get the big pads of paper put away and those things in the drawers just so they have uh, easy access to bring out to maybe this table. 
kind of like an inventory of tools to use and bring out here in our workspace, but put back instead of like leaving <laughs> all over our stuff. So yeah, let's get those up. This is a light bright. I don't know where to put that. Okay, so I'm thinking these ruler guys go like up above, go like this. I don't know, I'm gonna have to put a nail into the wall, so hopefully isn't studs 16 inches from, right? Dad, help. That's a little bit cleaned up, yeah. Um, let's check this out. So there's like drawing, to, I, I know. There's that little space. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought to get that organized. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, like I said, that this stuff being organized will encourage us to stay organized out here and have easy access to our tools and just kind of like mimic the at school studio environment that we have, but that's the goal, hopefully. I think that looks cool too, right? Dude, look at me using the new space for things. Dude, yeah, that's that's like the three areas really quick came together. I'm excited for them to get home. They get home soon. I hope they notice some changes. Like it just, if anything, it just looks a little bit cleaner up here. Yeah, it's just it's just been in my head a lot. Like being surrounded by like a good work environment. I've been thinking about it a lot being on campus in my classes and I wanted to bring that back here and kind of encourage the people that I live with to kind of encourage each other with like our creativeness and have a good space to work in. I know I'm just starting several projects uh, in my classes so maybe this fresh canvas will uh, help me with those. So that, that's the hope here anyway. But yeah, it seems cool. <laughs> I'm really excited for our space. Yeah, that's essentially it. I just really wanted to work on this today and kind of like, you know, get my whole um, workspace thought out there. So that's, that's what this is. Uh, thanks for hanging. If you did, I appreciate it. It's pretty much it. I'm going to try to use the space to make something cool. I encourage anybody else to use their time and their space to make something cool. Yeah, dude. Thanks. <laughs>